Anuru will be one of the top tier focus schools after Angels of Zaruman. First of all, the Poi's passive ability is very promising and has tons of uses for both Operator and Warframe. The ability allows you to gain immunity to slow, stagger, and knockdown effects for 40 seconds. And to do this, you only need to transfer out from your Warframe and get back again. The stagger and knockdown mean a lot, especially since we all know that one of the fastest ways to level up right now is using the Carpet Bomb style while using the Prime Sure Footed mod. Now, we don't see anything that says cooldown in here so, if it's like the Xenuric Synergizing Dash that allows us to restart the ability when we just get out of our Warframe, then it's safe to say that this will be a meta in terms of leveling in the normal star chart in Telstow Saturn using the Kuva Brahma. If this happens, then almost everyone can do the solo leveling method. All you need now is to farm yourself a Kuva Brahma and, to subsume silence in all Warframes that you want to level up. Well, at least the requirements get lowered, right? And knockdown is not just for leveling. Probably, Prime Sure Footed will be out of commission after this new poise passive from the Honor of Focus arrives. Is it a good thing? Yes, because not all has the luxury of getting Prime Sure Footed yet and also, this means you can apply more important mods in your build and remove this primed mod that takes a lot of mod space. Also, Stone Skin has been by and it will now give 200 bonus armor to both Operator and Warframe, while it's a good buff, but it's still not enough to be considered as worthy for those level cap players since armor is shit at endgame levels, Steel Path levels however, it would be good but if you are thinking Chroma, then 200 armor won't be good as there will be diminishing return in your build, prefer to get at least 90-95% to damage reduction with armor and then go with Gloom for heal or any other builds depending on your preference. Next, we got Reinforced Return which turns your Warframe invulnerable for 4 seconds when Operator is downed. There's also this additional feature where in a few tap X, it will bring your Warframe into the Operator's location. Now, I don't know what exactly is happening here, or DE is trying to do, but I'm kind of scared about them adding the down mechanic in your Operator. Does this mean after depleting our health and shield? We don't just go back into our Warframe anymore and get the usual transfer and static debuff which depletes all their shields and reduces their maximum health by 10%. If this happens, then this ability will be super needed for the operator when it gets downed. And what happens when we don't have this ability? Say, we are using another focus. Does this mean that the operator will get downed and then our Warframe has to revive it? I really need to get a better explanation on this as if this happens, then Unru will be very important and at least they could have made this a way bound passive because this has a continuation node also in the name of static purge which clears the transfer and static on kill while reinforced return is active. Moving on, we got the new caustic strike which is an active ability that launches an energy or bomb that explodes with an 8 meter radius, stripping 75% armor of the enemies affected within the area. By the way, you can perform this ability by using your operator and pressing the second ability key in your console or PC. That goes with other active abilities for other focus schools. Once you are in operator mode, all you need to do is press the first and second ability to activate these new focus abilities. So since, this got a feature that allows you to detonate in flight, I'm guessing that this is some sort of projectile. I was thinking of this as a mini fire blast that strips armor but it got lower range and extra tricks since this pressing this ability will also proc Unru Wisp in the process, giving your operator 100% increased damage for 20 seconds. The good thing about the Wisp now is it seeks out nearby allies including you and, you don't have to search for it when it dropped on the ground, hopefully, they won't mess this up on day 1 and this caustic strike can proc Unru Wisp against Tidelands. In terms of armor stripping, it's pretty decent because there's a group and nuke set up right now. Just imagine this, ensnare enemies, then go to your operator and proc caustic strike. Not to mention that we also got magnetic flare that creates an 8 meters radius field that lasts for 30 seconds and disables the shield of any enemy that enters it. Furthermore, it can be enhanced with magnetic boost that increases the duration and radius of it when you perform a void sling, or what we call a void dash in the pash, out of the magnetic flare. I now imagine the combo of both Magnetic Flare and Caustic Strike in a group and nuke setup wherein after grouping enemies within Snare, you cast Caustic Strike then Magnetic Flare to lower the shield and armor of enemies. It's giving Unru the power of pillage but in two active abilities, 
However, I'm not sure if it will be like the pillage ability that has the power to remove all shields and armor after multiple casts. I'm assuming that it would be the same, and we can 100% strip all the armor and shield of enemies after a few casts. But still, crossing my fingers for this. The last nodes are the waybound nodes and it's pretty interesting. The last gap passive is some sort of a fight for your life Borderlands style passive wherein you can revive your warframe by transferring to operator and killing enemies before the revive meter drains. 15 seconds. Each kill fills the revive meter by 30%. Now, in the recent dev stream, they haven't shown what vengeance ability is, but I'm assuming it's the same with emergency. The one they have shown in dev stream 160 wherein it increases the void amp and beam damage of the operator. Now, we have seen this not just on Borderlands, but within Warframe with Shevagath's passive ability but, it's really interesting because it's an overpowered ability for the operator, but it's an interesting choice for DE since we all know how weak the damage of operator against high level enemies. In normal star chart, that won't be a problem, and I bet that you'll be very pleased with this passive. However, I just don't know in steel path levels if the operator can even revive Warframes. It's a cool gimmick but when it comes to usage in high level plays, I'm in doubt whether or not this would be useful. Now, I would love to hear your opinions regarding the Unru rework which will arrive in Angels of Zariman update. Also, I would love to hear some expectations and possible usage of each ability that you are looking forward to. Let's discuss this in the comment section below. For those who have waited for today's stream, I need to reschedule it for tomorrow as we arrived late at home. Tomorrow is finally the day I'll stream and I hope to see you on my Twitch channel. Thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off.